Hey guys, TSL here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a very simple kill for cash script. So the only thing I have here is a dummy to test on and a sword. Um, I used the model from the Roblox sword, but I changed the script. All right, so then we have this simple script right here, and I'll explain it quickly, even though you should know all of this. The damage, damage, debounce so that it doesn't rapidly fire. Can touch is so that we can only damage people or I guess dummies when we are clicking, so when we're using the sword. Um, so you see we set that to true and false when we activate and deactivate it. And then we have our touched event, which just makes sure our, our debounce is false and we can touch. If we can, then our local character, um, we don't even, we don't need that. Actually, we do, because what we're going to need to do, I forgot to add a line for local player, which would be equal to local char, or actually, it would be equal to game.players colon get player from character local char all right so then we so like i was saying we get the local char which is the script dot parent dot parent uh, we get the player so the local player which is the player of the character we get the hit character and um we make sure it's not our character and we make sure that it is a character so it has a humanoid um, I changed it to make to finding if it has a humanoid so that we can like use it on dummies and stuff too. Um, then we just make a human variable and then we take damage of the damage amount. Then this stuff's just for debounce. Over here we connect that function. But anyways guys, this was all besides the point of the video. So what I'm going to do real quickly is make a leader stat script. So game colon get players or get service players dot player added colon connect function player so now what we're going to do is make a local stats is equal to instance dot new folder comma player stats dot name is equal to leader stats all right so local coins is equal to instance dot new uh, we'll do an int value inside of these stats and we'll do coins dot name is equal to coins and coins dot value is equal to zero. All right, so then back into this script, what we're gonna do is over here we want to before we take damage actually we want to add an if statement to check if human dot health minus damage is less than or equal to zero. If it is, then that will mean that we will kill the player with this hit. So then we want to award some cash. So we will just do local coins is equal to um, player dot coins. And we'll do coins dot value. And we'll just add however many coins you want to give per kill. I'll say we'll give some 25 coins same amount of damage all right and then yeah that's uh that actually should just be it so let's just test this real quick all right i have zero coins by the way um as you can see and now if i kill this dummy coins is not a valid member of player oh all right, um, it should be player dot leader stats dot coins. All right, so starting off zero coins, uh, hit the dummy, still nothing, still nothing, and now I have 25 coins. But you see, if I keep doing this, um, well then, I'm going to keep getting coins, but because the dummy never actually fully dies, uh, I'm just curious of something. Well, um, anyways, as you see, it works, clearly. Um, when you use this on, like, actual players, they'll, like, actually die and not just stay there with zero health. 
or if you use it on like actual NPCs, not just a dummy model. All right, well, anyways, th guys, that was it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video and this helped you out, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.